In the heart of a lush verdant valley, embraced by the majestic arms of ancient hills and enigmatic forests, stood a Zen temple of great antiquity and reverence. This temple was the abode of the venerable Zen master, Master Keiji, a sage renowned not only for his deep understanding of the Zen teachings, but also for his belief in the profound wisdom that children, with their purity and innocence, could impart. In the same village, under the vast open sky, lived a young boy named Yuto, whose eyes sparkled with curiosity and whose laughter echoed the joyous rhythms of the universe. It was this unassuming child who would, unknowingly, become a teacher to the Master and his disciples, revealing to them the six innate powers of children. One fine autumn day, as the air was crisp and the trees adorned themselves in shades of gold and amber, Master Keiji happened upon Yuto. The boy was by the river, deeply absorbed in the simple yet profound act of stacking stones, his small fingers working with a concentration that belied his age. Intrigued by Yuto's absorption and the serene joy that seemed to emanate from him, Master Keiji felt a stirring in his heart, an intuition that the boy had something valuable to teach. With a gentle smile and a sense of purpose, the master decided to extend an invitation to Yuto to bring him to the temple and into the lives of his disciples, offering them an opportunity to learn from the child's untainted view of the world. As Yuto stepped into the temple gardens, his eyes widened in sheer amazement at the wonders that unfolded before him. Each flower with its vibrant hues, each butterfly with its delicate wings, seemed to hold him in a spell of awe. Master Keiji, observing this, turned to his disciples and spoke in a voice tinged with warmth. I behold the child's sense of wonder, his first gift. In his eyes, the ordinary becomes extraordinary, every small detail a gateway to a universe of marvels. As we journey through life, weighed down by knowledge and experience, let us not forget to retain this sense of wonder, to look at the world with the fresh, unclouded eyes of a child. The next day, as Yuto engaged in play with the temple cat, he seemed to exist entirely in that moment. His laughter and movements, an expression of pure presence. Master Keiji watched a thoughtful expression on his face before addressing his disciples. Observe the child's complete immersion in the present his second gift. Unlike us, burdened by the shadows of the past and the uncertainties of the future, a child lives in the now. This presence, this total engagement with the current moment, is a lesson we must embrace to live our lives fully, not in yesterday's memories or tomorrow's dreams, but in the today. During a conversation with the monks, Yuto's words flowed freely, unfiltered and genuine. His thoughts and feelings were expressed with a clarity and honesty that was both disarming and refreshing. Master Keiji, observing this exchange, nodded in approval and then shared his insight. Yuto's honesty, his third gift, shines through in his words. Children in their innocence speak a truth untainted by social conventions or fear of judgment. As we grow older and our words become veiled and cautious, let us remember the value of this honesty to speak from the heart, sincerely and openly, just as a child would. One afternoon, as Yuto played in the temple grounds, he stumbled and fell. Yet with barely a moment's pause, he picked himself up, dusted off his knees, and continued with his play, his spirit undimmed. Master Keiji, observing this resilience, remarked to his disciples, I witness the child's quick recovery from his fall, his fourth gift. Life is much like this play. It will have its stumbles and falls. However, like a child, we must not dwell on the fall but focus on getting up and moving forward. This resilience, this ability to rebound from setbacks, is a quality we must cultivate, for it is in rising each time we fall that we truly grow. In the days that followed, 
Yuto's interactions with everyone at the temple were marked by an openness and affection that knew no bounds. His love was given freely, without judgment or expectation. Master Keiji, moved by this display of unguarded affection, spoke to his disciples. Yuto's ability to love without conditions, his fifth gift, reminds us all. Children offer their love generously, without reservations or judgments. As adults, our love often becomes conditional, tainted by expectations and past hurts. Let us learn from the child to open our hearts, to love freely and unconditionally, for it is in giving love without expecting anything in return that our hearts truly find peace. One sunny morning, Yuto, with a handful of leaves and twigs, sat under the old cherry tree and began to create. He crafted a small imaginative world, each leaf a character, each twig a story. Master Keiji, watching this scene, felt a sense of joy and said to his disciples, Yuto's boundless imagination, his sixth and final gift, is a fountain of creativity and wonder. Children view the world not just for what it is, but for what it could be. Their minds are realms of endless possibilities, unbound by the constraints of reality. As we grow older, our imagination often becomes shackled by practicality and skepticism. Let us strive to retain this imaginative spirit, to dream and envision, to see beyond the tangible, and to allow our minds the freedom to wander and in the weeks that followed, the temple was filled with a new energy, a sense of lightness and joy. The disciples, inspired by Yuto's simple yet profound actions, found themselves learning and growing in ways they had not anticipated. Yuto, in his pure, unassuming manner, had become a source of unexpected wisdom, embodying qualities that many spend lifetimes seeking. The young boy's presence at the temple became a cherished gift, a reminder that the most profound lessons often come from the most innocent among us. Years later, long after Yuuto had grown and ventured on his own path, Master Keiji would often recount the story of the young boy and the six gifts of childhood. The tale of Yuuto and his innate powers became an integral part of the temple's teachings, a lasting legacy that continued to inspire and enlighten. It served as a poignant reminder that wisdom is not the sole province of age or experience, but often springs from the open heart and clear eyes of a child, teaching us to look at the world with wonder, presence, honesty, resilience, unconditional love and imagination.